everyone. This is Mrs. S again. We're doing our round two, second segment of our Eric Carl project. Last week we did our horizon line, our sky, and our hill, and we made our snowflakes. This week we're going to be making birch trees for our picture. In my picture, I only have one birch tree. I'm going to suggest that you each have um, two birch trees. I think two is really a better number to have. So you're going to make two in yours. Your birch tree is going to be as tall as your paper. The first thing I'm actually going to do though, because we're going to be using this paper for two different things today. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dip into my black paint and I'm going to make just a line going down just like this. This way I can really conserve my paper. Okay? So birch trees are the perfect winter trees. I'm going to be drawing my two trees. Watch how I do mine first and then you may go ahead and do yours. I'll start at the bottom. I'm just using my black paint. And you might want to make the little knots that are in here. Okay, so there's one tree. These are the little knots. And here's your second tree. We're going to be cutting these out later. So I'll be cutting right onto my black lines later on. Okay. Birch trees can have a lot of different colors in them. A lot of people think it's just black, but actually you can have many different colors. So I'm going to go ahead and put some black right into the edges. If you look closely at some birch trees, some birch trees actually have browns and yellows in them as well. A birch tree is generally a white tree that has these markings on it. This is a lot of fun to do. I love working with a really thin brush like this. So I'm going to put my black in first. I'm not going to switch colors just yet. I'm just going to do all the black that I want first. Maybe this is going to be like that because it's a knot in the tree. And I'm going to go ahead and keep adding in my colors. I mean my, my black. I'm going to do that again. Okay, let's see what other colors I can put in my birch tree. I think I will put some brown in it. So I'm going to wash my brush off. And I'm going to go ahead and add some brown. That's kind of nice, don't you think? Our picture already has some brown in it, so I think that this will really accentuate the brown that we already have. Just in a few places. You don't have to add as much brown as you did black. And I think I'll also add in some yellow. Just a few areas, nothing crazy. Just to accentuate or highlight a certain area, that's all. Okay, looks good. I'm gonna leave that alone now. I'm gonna let that dry. Okay, this whole side, we're gonna have some fun with. And hopefully you also had fun making your birch trees just now. So on this side, I'm gonna grab a fatter brush. This one's a little fatter. Okay, now you guys all have these colors at your table. Um, there's probably two per table and you're sharing. Um, you're not going to want to mix them up too much, maybe just a little bit. Everyone's using these, so just be mindful. And what you want to do is actually go ahead and just paint all different colors on this side. Just have a blast painting up this whole side. This is a way that Eric Carl would uh, make his animals. This is one of the ways. Eric Carl actually made his animals in several different ways. Sometimes you'll see me teach that he used cray paper or tissue paper and glue those pieces down and then cut out animals. That was one way that he would work. This is another way that he would work. He would actually use painted papers. So I'm going ahead and I'm making my painted paper. So I think that this is the most fun because there are lots of fun options that I can do in here. So the first thing, though, is to paint the whole area. Just like this. You want all different colors. You want to see your brush strokes. It's important to be able to see them. 
That's what's going to make your squirrel look super interesting in a little while. Okay, so now I have the whole thing covered. I'm going to wash off my brush. Now I want to show you something fun that you can do that Eric Carl would do also. Sometimes Eric Carl would use the back of his brush while the paint was so wet and he would actually draw right into his picture. So you might want to go ahead and play with this. Don't go into one area too, too much because what could happen is you could accidentally rip your paper. Paper that's wet like this with paint becomes weaker. So you just have to be careful as you're doing this. But I always think that this is so much fun to do. So have a blast. Okay. So once again, at the end of class today, I'm going to give you guys wet paper towels instead of having you line up by the sink. Okay, these will go on the drying rack, and then next week we're going to actually turn this into our squirrel just by cutting out all the different body parts and then gluing it together. So next week we're going to assemble our entire scene. Until then, 